Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have something a little bit more challenging for us. An infinite series that has two separate terms, 1 over e to the n plus 1 over the quantity n times n plus 1. And we're trying to find the sum of this infinite series. So what we can do here is we can separate them into two separate parts. Let's first work on this and see if we can take this infinite series and make it look like this general form because if we do we can use this to find the sum. So here we can say that this can be written as 1 over e when n is equal to 1 plus 1 over e times 1 over e plus 1 over e times 1 over e squared and then we begin to realize that if we let a be 1 over e and x be 1 over e, then this becomes a plus a times x plus a times x squared and so forth. So we can then see that uh, the, we can then calculate a. In this case, a will be equal to, and of course this continues on like this, but a will be equal to 1 over e. And the common ratio will be the ratio of one term divided by the previous term. So 1 over e squared divided by 1 over e. So r will be equal to 1 over e squared divided by 1 over e, which is equal to 1 over e squared times e over 1, which is equal to 1 over e. So we have the first term as 1 over e, and we have the common ratio as 1 over e. Now we're ready to find the sum of this first part of that infinite sum. So that means that a over 1 minus r is equal to 1 over e divided by 1 minus 1 over e. Notice we can multiply the numerator and the denominator times e, so let's do that. So e divided by e, and this therefore becomes 1 over e minus 1. And so this is the sum of the first part of the infinite series. All right, now let's go ahead and find the sum here. Now using partial fractions, we can say that this can be written as the sum of n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1. We'll say, well, how can that be done? Well, all we have to do is re-multiply everything together. The common denominator is n times n plus 1, like we have over here. Multiply this one times n plus 1. Multiply this one times n, n plus 1 minus n gives us 1 over the product of these two. So you can see that this can be written out like this. Now the infinite, the infinite series of 1 over n, as n goes from 1 to infinity, can be written as follows. So this can be written as 1 minus, when we plug in n over here, that would be 1 over 2. So that would be the first term, plus, now we let n equals 2, so we get 1 over 2 minus, when we get 1 over 3 here, plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4, plus, and so forth. And then begin to realize that the second term of these first two will cancel out the first term of the next two, and this one will cancel out this, and this will cancel out the next one, because this simply becomes uh, 1 fourth minus 1 fifth and so forth. So you can see that this cancels out this, this cancels out that, that cancels out that and so forth. So this whole sum is simply equal to 1. Now all we have to do is add those two together. So the total sum of the two parts will be equal to 1 divided by e minus 1 plus 1. And of course again we have to find the common denominator. This is equal to 1 over e minus 1 plus e minus 1 over e, oop, e minus 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0, so we get e divided by e minus 1 as being the total sum of that initial infinite series. And that's how it's done.